Hi everyone. Uh, sorry if the sound looks sounds different than normal. But I don't have my microphone with me and I'm inside my house instead of out in my studio. So it is what it is, but I got my package from a smart art today. It is a huge box. Gosh, it does weigh a ton. Um, it came from smart art. It is my, uh, not another crap kit from, uh, nerdy Jackie, Jackie, uh, nerdy crafter. She created a, 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 a art box and, um, you know, I, I've opened the ones from Jazza on my channel, so I want to open the one from Jackie. And I was so excited that it came that I didn't want to wait to go out in my studio. It is blazing hot today, and I didn't, just didn't want to do it. So here we go. Let's open it up together. I am so excited to see it. It was delayed in shipping. Um, they had uh, just, you know, stuff. The, the, uh, shipping is just delayed all over the place for all sorts of reasons, mostly COVID related, but you know, it is what it is. She created this box called Not Another Crap Kit, um, by Nerdy Crafter and Smart Art. It, it's awesome. It, it weighs a ton. And I know why it weighs a ton because, you know, it does have clay in it. So I, I know what's in it. It's not a surprise to me. I didn't uh, like not watch everybody else's unboxings. I did. I watched everybody else's unboxings and um, gosh darn it. Here comes the phone. Ignore the phone. I'm just going to let the answer machine get it. Hopefully they don't leave a message that you guys can hear. It's probably somebody wanting to give us warranty information. Uh, oh, look at the pretty tissue. I'm going to have to save that tissue for some other thing. I didn't, I don't know. Everybody else got orange tissue in their boxes, the ones that I seen unbox. But then again, those people were the people who got early release boxes. And so look at that. Special printed tissue, that's awesome. Um, I know it comes with a guide that tells you all about stuff. It's got a QR code for those of us who bought the box to give us all sorts of tips and tricks and all sorts of how-to's. to how -tos. So that's exciting. Um, it is designed for, here, here, Here's where, where it tells you what's in the box. The exclusive mold and resin, the sculpting materials, the sculpting tools, the paints and painting tools, and uh, extra stuff. So all of this stuff is in this box. It is crammed full of just about everything that you will need to do this project or many others. At least you can do at least three projects with the permastone and the mold um probably at least three it comes with everything except for water and batteries for the flashlight because that can't be shipped those things can't be shipped uh, some armature wire the silicone bowl for mixing i may or may not use it for mixing but it's a really good silicone bowl and it's perfect for um, camping, we go camping quite a bit, and it's perfect for popping this, I like this bowl, It's pop it on this carabiner, stick it on your belt, when you take the dog for a walk, when we do dog sitting, and I need a bowl, that would be awesome to take with me, as long as I haven't already used it for, you know, plaster, because that would not be good. A little uh, palette. The uh, coupon code to receive 10% off your first subscription box. Uh, if you want to use that, I know that these boxes were sold out, so there aren't any more of these. But if you want to get your own smart art, use her coupon code. Save yourself some money. Got some stickers. 
got a holy carp a this is my happy face and an i'm insulted sticker those i think i'm going to put on my laptop my old laptop i've got outside uh, that i use just now for watching art videos while i'm painting and so it can get goopy so i think i'll do that the salty brush set i'm going to actually open these to see what kind of quality we get we get a a liner around number two, around number six, an angle shader, a flat shader, and a flat wash. Oh yeah, that's a good quality brush. I don't know who who makes these brushes for them, but um, it's not a the highest quality brush ever, but it's a good quality brush. It it will absolutely do uh, what we need to do for this box. That's awesome. Make my pile of trash over there. Comes with a an Excel um, like exacto knife, a sharp pointy thing. If you haven't watched Jackie before, it's Nerdy Crafter on YouTube. Absolutely follow her. I have wanted a sharp pointy thing for a while. Because you know what she does? I don't know if you have watched her, but if you haven't, she takes this sharp pointy thing. She actually takes the safety cap off and she waves it at you. If you do not subscribe to her channel, I, I can't make sound effects. I don't have editing software. I'm going to have to make my own sound effects. And she raises a sharp pointy thing at you. I don't tend to do that on my channel. You know that. I just ask you nicely. This is an Excel sanding stick. I'm just opening all my packages. Inside this sanding stick is something that I've never used before, but it looks like it would be really useful for all sorts of things. But it's like a little skinny piece of sandpaper on a pencil shaped thing. And I guess as you use it here on this end, as you use it here on this end, um, you just kind of like roll it and get a fresh spot. That's awesome. This will be very helpful for, not just for, for this craft, but for other things that I, I use. Absolutely useful. And then there's the Sculpey tools, which I've never had sculpting, sculpting tools before. You use them to, um, smooth and shape your clay. I did do a lot of clay work um, back, in, back in high school. I'm gonna open all of these packages. That's the one thing I hadn't seen anybody do on their unboxing is open all the packages. Probably because it has this safety package that, you know, you're never allowed in. I'm going to open them because I want to touch them and feel them and, you know, experience them. The armature wire, I know what wire feels like. I didn't open that, but. Come on. Out of the package. There they are. Great big ball to make like indentations and stuff. A little smoothie bit on this end. Ooh. It's got like a squishy, you see that? It's a flexible tip. And they're like that on the ends, different shapes. That one's like a flat bit right there. Can you see it? Can you see it how it bends? That's nice and soft. And then this one's more like a pointy. And then on the other end, it's got the metal ends. It's got a, a little tiny tiny one, a medium one, and this big, big fat one. That, those look like they'll be super helpful, not just for this, but for other things as well. Comes with a funnel. She originally didn't have a funnel in her kit, but um, part of her craft that she has, has you pouring, you mix up the plaster in here, and then you pour it into the mold, and people were saying they were not being very, they, they were having some hand eye coordination issues so they thought a funnel would be useful and so she decided to include one and I like how it just 
folds up and it just stores super easy. And I can attach it to this same carabiner. Look at there. I can keep them together so I don't lose them. Perfect. Oh, wow. This is heavier than I expected. I knew it was big, but boy, this is a chunky. It, it, it's got some weight to it. It probably, it probably weighs a pound, pound and a half. I don't know. It's, it's got some weight to it. Let's see. I guess I have to use my scissors. This is the mold that Jackie designed herself. And what it creates is a plaster character that looks like this right there. And then you can take this plaster character and either um, just paint it or sculpt on top of it. Um, I may, I'm, one of my thoughts is, is to make one of these characters, um, give it a nice coat of, of gesso or paint of some sort for a base coat and then draw on it. I think that would be fun. Draw some patterns on there. So here's the little guy. And you put the put the mold together like so. High quality, wow. That's 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 not a it takes some finagling to get it together. I can see why you want to put the mold together first before you mix up your plaster. That is another tip that she had was to get this mold all set first because it does take a bit of wiggling to get those two pieces together, but I'm sure I will get it. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Okay. And then it also comes with some rubber bands to hold it all together. The other people got orange rubber bands, I think. I got blue rubber bands, I don't care what color rubber bands, that's just to keep the mold together. Um, there is an orange spatula. Everybody's calling all of this stuff Jackie Orange, which she, that, that is her color. So it's Jackie Orange, a lovely spatula so you can use to mix up your plaster, scrape it all out of the thing. Some stirring sticks. The measuring device for your water and your plaster. And on it's got milliliters and ounces depending on what part of the world you want to measure things in. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so on this side, it goes shows 50 to 250 milliliters. On this side, it shows, I don't know if you can see it. It shows uh, eight ounces or one cup, quarter cup, so forth. But on this end, it also has them 50 to 250 milliliters and the one cup on the end piece too. That's very, I don't know if you can see that, but that's very handy. Let's see, can I put something behind there so you can see it? That's very handy. Oh, I've never had a measuring cup that did that before. You can read it from multiple angles. Awesome sauce. Another sculpting tool. This one's very sharp and pointy. It's got a protective cover on it. But boy, oh yeah, you could hurt yourself with that. I'm going to make sure I keep my cover on that thing unless I'm using it. But it also is for like the sculpting and then it's got this texture that you can use. Can you see that? It's got texture on it. So you can use that, like roll it on your clay and make like a, a, a an interesting texture on your clay. That's cool. Here's the UV light. I don't have any batteries to put in it right now, but it's it's just a UV flashlight. Very good one, apparently. Works well, and it's branded Nerdy Crafter and Smart Art. Um, here's a little resin mold to make uh, like the eyes for your figure or gems or whatever you want. Um, and it comes with UV resin, which is in this bag. I appreciate that everything was packaged in a bag so that in case it leaks, um, 
Here's the UV resin. I've never used it before, but you use, you put some of this in this mold. As for, from, what I under, <clears throat> from what I understand, UV resin molds have to be kind of clear so that you, not the opaque um, kind of silicone. I mean, it wouldn't work with a, a silicone like this, like the orange. It has to be kind of a clear so that you, when you shine your light, the light gets through there and cures the resin. And, but you can have some of this. I have some plans for using this for other things. So I was really looking forward for that to come. Some paint that doesn't fit in her paint thing. I'll pull that out at the end because it's at the bottom. But she's using um, Jacquard paints, which apparently are a super high quality paint. I'm not going to open them here because I don't want to accidentally gloop and have gloop on my dining room table. So, but that's uh, red. And then this is some alcohol ink in rainbow, which we also got this same alcohol ink in rainbow in um, Jazz's box. And it is such a cool, I'm, I'm glad I have another one. It's very, very cool. I don't know if you can see the sparkles in there. You probably can't. No, you can't, but that's okay. It's very cool. And then this is the uh, Plaster of Paris. It's 28 ounces. So, like, almost two pounds of plaster. And then um, we can, you know, use this casting compound in this mold. Uh, you can just buy more of this and continue to use this mold however many times you want to until you have um, completely destroyed the mold because, you know, it should, should be last a very, very long time. Boy, that's hefty. This is epoxy sculpt, which I've never used before either. I've never done um, modeling clay like this. I took ceramics in high school, so I am familiar with clay and molding and um, sculpting. I've just never used polymer clay before. And so the epoxy sculpt is um, the clay that dries without having to bake it. So no baking required and um, cures hard in 24 hours. And you mix um, part A and part B in equal parts and you mix it around, use, use gloves, and mix it around and um, then you can use it to sculpt. So it's not a lot, but you wanna use it for places that, um, where you, you want an extra detail or she said to use it in places um, that are delicate and that you don't want to put in the oven, you know, things you want to do after the fact. So there's that. There's some Sculpey Oven Blake Bake Clay Adhesive, which is um, the stuff that you use to stick clay together. There's a chunk of clay, a one pound chunk of clay. So between these two things, you know, you got like three pounds of stuff. And then I'm telling you, this, this mold is almost a pound. Almost, not quite, but it's pretty darn close. I wonder this box weighs a ton. And then a Nerdy, Nerdy Crafter branded uh, paints in opaques which is uh, also this red one. She wanted to add more colors than would fit in the package, so she has one loose. Um, but in opaque colors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven opaque colors, and three metallics, or pearlescence. And I was looking forward to this too. A sculpting mat. So on this side we have our angles and on this side we have the same angles but even smaller and it's like a non-stick surface so you can work on it to do your crafting and your clay work but you can use it like a grid to measure things out and I think this is just awesome and it would also be very helpful when I'm doing some of my drawings I think if I wanted to put a piece of paper here and then I could draw these angles I think that might be actually kind of helpful so 
There's that, and I think I've gotten to the bottom of the box, but look at this absolutely adorable tissue paper. I'm gonna open it up so that you can see. Absolutely adorable tissue paper. Isn't that cute? Look at that. She has all our little characters on there. Those are absolutely adorable. Oh, I love that. I'm going to save this tissue and use it in some other art project, whether I cut them out and stick them in a like an art journal or something, or I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I'm definitely gonna save it. That is for sure. I am so excited. I am going to create my little sculpture because it's going to take a while to mix up and, and so forth and so on. Um, and sometime I am going to be doing some sculpting on my channel as like extra content, not, not in replacing any of my regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos, but in, uh, you know, extras. I just don't know when I'm going to have time to do it. I really, really want to get started like today, but I got other things to do today. And so I suspect I won't be able to get to it until next month, but it is what it is, but I really, really want to play, really want to play. So I may mix up a couple sculptures. My husband said he wanted to play, which is unusual for, he, he doesn't always want to play with art supplies. If he wants to play with sculpture. So I think this is awesome. I think I may just go ahead and mix up a couple of plaster casts. And, uh, well, but, but he might want to do that part too. I guess I have to wait till he gets home. Okay, I will wait till he gets home. But I'm going to put all this stuff back in the box. And um, see you guys later. And I will let you know when I decide to... Um, do my crafting maybe i will i will use the tutorial playlist which is there under my thumb i will use that qr code and i will go watch all of her instructions but she's really very careful with her instructions about uh what the consistency thing we do not want pancake batter we want cre creamy milk like flow you only have five minutes before the plaster starts to thicken so if the plaster is too thick it won't fit through the hole of the mold and will create air pocket so she's very 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 careful with her steps here between with the molding the character the making eyes with the resin and how to add clay elements to my sculpture she doesn't say this you know let's make an uh, uh, an elephant or let's make a an alien creature or whatever she doesn't say that she lets leaves it up to you and your imagination um, but she does give you tips on how to work with the supplies which is very very useful and i am just gonna have the best time playing you know what that's the part that's the thing i like most about art is its play it is absolutely play. You know, we used to go around, go outside and play as kids, and we don't do that so much anymore as adults, but my art is my playtime, and I just have so much fun with it. So um, if you, any of you guys managed to get one of these boxes, let me know. And um, if you did, let me see your sculptures. If you sculpt and you didn't get a box, but you sculpt anyways, as that's what you do, um, show it to me we have a an artist she hasn't posted a lot lately because that group kind of has petered out but on um zentangle explorations i believe her name was laura schiller she would do these incredible pattern based stuff using clay and i'm going to look at her stuff and get inspired by that as well i think um yeah absolutely incredible work so check her out um and i'm gonna kind of sit ruminate watch tutorials and uh, clean up my mess here that i've made and um wait till my husband gets home and find out if he wants to make a little plaster figure and then we can work on it together maybe he'll show up on my channel maybe not you never know anyways 
I will see you guys later. This was just a quick little bonus video. It's actually turned out to be not quite so quick. But um, if you fast forwarded it through it, that's cool. Um, make sure you do something nice for someone today. Uh, make the world a better place. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.